Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Okay, so this is Stephanie singing with uh, Sarah Geronimo in Stephanie's concert. And it, this is like a huge deal because Sarah was her coach in The Voice. Voice, right? Right, so She ended up winning, I think, Stephanie. I think so. I think so. She I think so. Uh, so, yeah, there's like a whole background story to the to this performance. And it's, it's pretty epic, apparently. So, are yeah. you ready? I think she did win. Because we also were seeing like Ella Nympha right later mm -hmm, on. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I don't know. A few days someone ago, said yeah. she won something else. So they're all like winners. Basically. Yeah, they are. They're all like renowned, freaking the nation's favorites, basically. Like young, young, yeah, yeah, young yeah. girls going. So the new generation favorites. Her hair is sparkling. sparkling. My coach, ladies and gentlemen, pop star royalty, Miss Sarah Pop star royalty. Oh, I love her. Ooh, I mean, look at those freaking outfits. Oh, that's colors. What is that color? What do you call that? Like uh, aquamarine? Turquoise. No. Turquoise. <laughs> Tur turquoise. Turqu turquoise is... Is that blue? It's bluer. Oh, it's a that's proud, that's whole, That's not a song. Those that's are eyes song. of pride, dude. Yeah. The Sara is so bloody attractive. <laughs> she is beautiful. She's got a really beautiful hair too. It's like to perform as a coach, right? I like her hair, Stephanie's hair. It's quite big. It's, nice. <laughs> it's as if it was her song. As so, if. Jamming. experience right oh such great communication I love that ah it's exciting Fantastic stuff. I think it's beautiful. That communication, that pullback, that obviously you really see the admiration from Stephanie's perspective and then you also see the, the satisfaction, the pride that comes from, from Sarah. It's really it's really heartwarming. It's Yeah, that's like a very good example of like um seeing you know, sometimes we mention like eye contact and nonverbal communications mm -hmm. as you're performing on stage. And a lot of bands sometimes do it, sometimes don't do it. Some of the top top bands, that seems to be one of the common denominators that they really do have awesome communication between everyone, even though they're not moving their mouths. Um, but that's like a, that's such a good example of that. Of like yeah, it's like music becomes a, a, a another way of communicating. Yeah. You know, and you really amplify your nonverbal uh, uh, 
ways of communicating as you're on stage and and you really get to yeah it, it's it's so difficult to explain like what that feels like but it's like it's, it's, it's awesome. like uh unveiling the subtext of a ly- of 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 a, of a text of a, of a book or something you know it's like unveiling that uh what's laying underneath it's as if you're speaking to someone and they know a really deep secret about you and you know a really deep secret about them and, and it's you're... like you're standing naked in front of each other sure uh, yeah yeah like there's no i mean fuck it that's one way to say it. Well, it's, it's like, it's that vulnerability. Yes, it's, it's as if all veils have been unveiled and you're, yeah, you're standing there stripped of mm-hmm. all your, uh, of all your, what would you call them? All your... Perceptions? You've let go of all your pretense, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess, you know? Yeah. Which is a very raw, and, and this is the reason why, like, I think music touches so many people. And the moments like those, like, I'm sure Stephanie is going to remember that. Oh, absolutely. And I'm sure Sarah, this was a very meaningful moment. Because it's kind of like, she, you know, she's taught her things and she's brought her up. But it's one of those, yeah, it's, it's a very, uh, like, heartwarming thing to watch. Yeah. You know, it's, it's awesome to see it. And, the, and that, I think that's very peculiar from the Philippines as well. Like, it seems, it doesn't really happen in any in, in many other industries where, like, in the show that you came up in, and you got coached by. You maintain. It's a those, long, yeah. like it's a, it's a long relationship in the public eye where you perform together often. Yeah. Because uh, I'm sure personally, in the, you know, in in private, they might maintain their relationship. That's true. But you don't really see that often around no, here. No, you don't. And it, it's it's really nice though. It's really, uh, it's it's comforting to know that what you watched on TV was as real as it is in in, 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 like in, in in their personal life too, you know? And somehow then you feel you're a part of the journey because you, you saw it from the beginning. You, you yeah. saw the relationship bloom, you know? Which yeah. is, it, it's really, it's really heartwarming. Good performance. Yeah, it really is. Performance good. Like, like it sounds like. Sounds like like. Yeah, it sounds see. like I want to see. Oh, 
sa pangaraw na ikaw lang ang kasama Mula na kulang ang panahon Di sa pano meron She took the hair off one of them Yeah I think she took both of them No Yeah, 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 the other one was hanging down here Really? Yeah Oh, yeah. Maybe she just wanted to be present in the moment. Oh, Those are words of praise. Oh, I think so. Para po sa inyo. Oh, naman. for you. Aww. Para po sa inyo. Thank you, Jeff. Hindi po yan nabubulo. <laughs> oh, this yeah, is so sweet. Hindi mo ka maniwala. <laughs> Pwede ba humiling isa pang araw na ikaw lang ang kasama? <laughs> Grabe, alam niyo po, sobrang ito po yung isa sa mga pinapangarap ko na makasama ang isa sa mga big influence ko sa music. Bata pa lang. And now, <laughs> it's so weird to me that their the speaking voices are so different to their singing voices. Though when you when you look at their uh, their their speaking voices, you have this whole it really uh, twang so forward. Um, no, it no. doesn't. So it has this really twang forward uh, tonality, right? When it comes to their speaking voice, and it is obvious because of the language, um, but. It's, with Stephanie, it's not so different, but in Sarah Hieronymus, it is very so different. very distinct, and it's actually her larynx lie really high up in in her resting position, right? Because that, that that's where you fall when you're speaking into a an, a neutral resting position, so mm. it's not hard work to speak, but it's comfortable. So for her, they sit quite high up, so she has this really nice twang that comes through that the 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 speaking tonality but when she sings she's so down so yeah, grounded yeah, so yeah. connected resonant. so very resonant it's actually kind of mad um because usually what you get is is what Stephanie is doing right she she has a very similar vocal tonality when she's speaking to when she vocalizes so uh it's able to reach is able to reach both ends, right? The higher end and and and, and a grounder, a, a more resonant uh, side of things as well. But um, it, it naturally falls back into her sp speech tonality. But for for Sorry. Sarah, it's, whoa, it's like it's so different, and I absolutely adore that because it it really shows the amount of physical work that goes into singing, and it, it's a physical representation, a very 
a, a tangible representation of, of, of that physical work and I love that it's fantastic it's very what a show noticed and stuff like yeah I mean it's it's it, it's one of those performances that I'm sure that's why so many people were so adamant that we check it out mm. because it's truly special like seeing it's, it's, a, it's that thing I was mentioning before it's like the new generation and uh, seeing them work with people who have you know already settled such a ginormous no, name no and people that they have looked up to yeah so you know the, I mean Sara was already established as an artist before she was born before yeah before Stephanie knew how to sing right yeah. and so so you was... grew up with this this uh, images and the sounds and then to have the opportunity to then share the stage with the people that you looked up to or were already respected by the time you were growing up it's, I just think that is such a huge honor you know it's yeah, crazy there was any pictures like uh, I think Stephanie's just turned 18 around that uh -huh. so yeah literally Sarah was still kicking ass before she was born before she was a baby yeah so how crazy is that and it goes like I know she said it there it's like oh you're a big influence musical influencing you know to me but it's like that's such a big deal you know you know a lot of people yeah, used to because say it's that it's like, like it's like it shaped you yeah, in some yeah. way isn't it is it's like when you grow up grow up listening to certain people it, it, it shapes the way that you then make music yeah. or or uh see or understand music yeah, or right or perform because there are certain things that you uh, then adopt as yours because you like them so you admire them so much in, in, in the artist well so, let us know so wholesome let us know what you thought about it and maybe what other performances maybe we should check out next we are diving slowly into this like uh, this kind of the next generation of ladies uh, as we have checked out some of the lads as well some of the next generation lads so uh, do let us know what you like to check out next and we will dun, dun.